Luke C in a HGV is back, baby. Okay, let me first start by saying that this is a normal vlog. There will be dash cam footage, there will be GoPro footage. I'm just recording on my phone at the moment because I'm on site, as you can probably tell, and there isn't really much that you can see. I also want to say this, right? If you recognise where I am, don't tell me in the comment section down below because I'm trying to stay incognito. And I know that's hard in that thing there, but I'm trying to stay incognito and I don't want people from businesses uh, not liking the fact that I'm filming on their premises. So I can tell you that I'm in Bristol, but if you recognise the place I am, don't go telling everybody. Just do me that one favour, because uh, I want to be able to record a little bit more freely than what I was when I was doing the bags. So, um, yeah, don't don't tell me where you, where, where you think I am. I'm in Bristol, that's all you need to know. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're currently getting tipped. Uh, we got here at quarter past six this morning. It's about, actually, I don't actually know what time it is. It's about seven o'clock now. And I think in about half an hour's time, they should have fully tipped me. Um, we've got to go back down to Southampton, get this 20 foot container box taken off, uh, and then we'll obviously get another one put on, but I don't know where we're going yet. Apparently, we end up going to Evesham after a Bristol run, so could be going to Evesham, which involves going down Birdlip Hill and towards sort of Troutonham sort of area. But yeah, this is my new truck. It's called The Bandit, if you didn't already know. It's quite a smart looking truck. Oh, not that you can really see much of that angle. And uh, it gets photographs taken wherever we go. Um, yesterday, all day yesterday, um, I was getting photographs taken and I was sat in the cab and I was like, what have I done wrong? And then I realised I'm in the bandit. I turn up to site at every place I go and uh, photographs just end up getting taken. So, but I can't blame them. It's a nice looking truck. Anyway. I'll uh, reconvene with you when we are leaving and uh, hopefully that'll be right now. No, it isn't right now actually because I want to tell you something that happened this morning real quickly just before I turned up to this site. I was um, coming around a roundabout and uh, I saw that there was someone laying on the floor on the roundabout. They come off their motorbike and there was a lorry uh, already there, like a rigid lorry already there with his hazard lights on and the car that I was following stopped on the roundabout, put his hazards on and then I sort of thought... Uh, our stop as well, block the roundabout up completely to avoid anyone coming around too fast and uh, put my hazards on. And then um, I got out of the truck and I sort of tried to help out what, in whichever way I could. The two guys that were there before me helped the guy up. They helped the guy get up and we took him to the side of the road just to make sure he was all okay. He, he was limping so he hurt his leg. And, um, and then we uh, all three of us sort of lifted the bike up and put take basically took the bike off the road, put it on the pavement next to the to the biker just to uh, get it off the road and clear the roundabout up. And uh, yeah, so uh, me and the driver in front eventually uh, left because we didn't see what happened. Uh, it already happened before we got there. And uh, it was between the, the lorry and the uh, motorcyclist. I'm not sure what happened. The lorry driver said he come round the roundabout and just slid, just fell off. It was too slippery. So maybe going too fast, I don't know. Not my place to judge, I know the facts, but uh, I got dash cam footage, and, uh, but only of him on the floor, not of anything actually happening. But yeah, that's what I want to tell you. Anyway, let's get moving. Okay, good morning everybody. Uh, yes, we are back. I'm still feeling a little bit poorly, but uh, huh, nowhere near as much as I was. I, um, I could barely talk. It, it was like so much effort just to talk, so... Um, I didn't. I just didn't feel like vlogging, to be honest with you. So hopefully you can understand. Uh, if not, then uh, tough. <laughs> but yeah, I've still got a cough. I've still got a bit of a blowy nose, and my voice is still not a hundred percent perfect. But I think it's adequate enough to do a vlog. Like I said, over the weekend I should uh, become a hundred percent. I'd say I'm more sort of like ninety-five percent at the moment. But it's good. We're all right. We're we're alive. We're well. We're working, it's all good, we can't moan about that. Right, so, situation is this. Uh, we just delivered the box off in Bristol, where uh, I last spoke to you guys. 
And upon shortening the trailer, I've explained this before, so it's a 20 feet box, it sits in the middle of the trailer, but when you tip, you've got to, you've got to shorten the trailer, you've got to move the box back. Um, anyway, I did that this morning, uh, and as I did it, I heard a crunch, and I was like, oh, that don't sound good. Um, so I had a look, and I couldn't, I couldn't see anything that was wrong, so I, I ignored it. And then upon re sort of lengthening the trailer, making it sit back in the middle again, I heard the crunch again. I was like, no, that don't sound right. I'll get out and have a look. Anyway, it appears that um, I've broken the trailer. <laughs> um, what it is is that um, all the wires, like uh, light, light cables and air and all that, sort of run down the side of the trailer, but it's in a plastic cylinder tube, is the only way I can sort of explain it. And it was that tube that was splitting, that's what the crunch was. And as I shortened the trailer, it must have caught on something and, uh, and essentially cracked. Nothing I could do about that. Um, it cracked, it already cracked, do you know what I mean? And you don't normally get out and have a look under the trailer before you shorten the trailer, you just shorten the trailer. So, yeah, um, I got out and had a look and I saw that the plastic tubing was on the floor and I could see that the wires were dangling on the floor. Um, not like completely dangling, but sort of looped down and sort of grazing the floor. So, yeah, so I got under the trailer and I sort of tried my best to get them back up again. Um, but it's not obviously 100% fixed. You can't shorten this trailer uh, without it catching. So I've contacted the company we're working for, told them that the trailer needs replacing or being fixed. Uh, and that's what I've got to do now. So I've got to go to the docks, get this taken off, the box that I got on, then go to their yard and swap trailer and get another trailer put on. Then go back to the yard, uh, back to the docks again, put another box on, then take it up to Evesham, I believe, and then swap trailer again and bring another trailer back down to the yard, which will be empty, um, ready for Monday morning. So we've got a busy afternoon ahead of us. We've got to swap trailers, got to take this one off, put another one on, and then take that one off and put another one on. So how many trailers is that? It's going to be three trailers in one day. And uh, yeah, we've got a, a fair bit of driving to do as well. Because it's 108 miles back to the docks, it's a two hour drive down there, and then obviously we've got to do some more stuff, and I've got to have a break before I go up to Reevesham, so yes, it's going to be uh, it's going to be a busy day for me, that's for sure. Why have you just overtaken me, get in, got into lane one, and then slowed down? People do this all the time, and I can't overtake. They overtook me and got into lane one, just, and then slowed down. Absolutely no point. Sorry about that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm still not 100% moved into this cab. I mean, all my stuff is in here. It's just none of it's organized. It's like moving into a new house. I'm still living out of boxes. Uh, my microphone, for example. Actually, for starters, the, the GoPro is normally sort of up higher. So I'm probably at a slightly different angle than normal. And then the mic, as I've explained before, goes around the uh, frame of the window, down behind the seat and back over. But I haven't had time to do any set anything up. So the, the GoPro mic's literally just going across the dash, down onto the floor and onto me. So it's very messy in here, cables all over the place. Um, and yeah, like I said, I'm just living out of boxes basically. I've still not got anything uh, uh, sort of 100% unpacked. So, but that'll come in time. <coughs> anyway, let's crack on and uh, see when we get a little bit closer. Right, so uh, nearly two hours later, we are basically in Southampton now. We're on the M271, just a, a mile or so away from the docks. A couple of miles, actually, to be honest. Uh, we've received confirmation as to what we've got to do, um, not the next job, but what we've got to do now. So we've got to take this box off, uh, and then uh, we've got to come back out of the docks and go to Marchwood Industrial Estate. I've been there before and uh, to drop a trailer off just before Christmas. But I've got to take it to Shepherd's Workshop, which I'm not entirely sure where it is. So I've actually got to try and find somewhere. <laughs> so that's going to be fun. But hopefully we can get the trailer dropped off. Then I've got to make a phone call and find out what trailer I need to hitch back up to. Uh, then go back to the docks and get a box put back on. But I don't actually know where I'm going yet. It's supposed to be Evesham, but I haven't actually had confirmation of that. So yeah, we, uh, it's still early in the morning. It's still like, ten, well, it's quarter to 10 just gone, but it depends on how long I'm gonna be in the docks for. I'm hoping I can be in and out in half an hour. I'm hoping, but you, you never know. I've been in there 20 minutes before. I've been in there two hours before. 
it's sort of hit and miss. You just got to kind of hope for the best. Even if it looks really, really busy, you can still be in there for like only 20 minutes, like I was yesterday. But if it looks really, really quiet, you might be in there for two hours. But we'll see. Got an empty box to come off. Hopefully, they take it off soon. We'll soon find out. But yeah, it's a bit annoying that I got to do this because it's making my day a little bit longer. But you know, the trailer needs to be fixed. It's drivable. It's just the cable was dangling down on the floor. Like I said, I've, I've temporarily put it up. I wouldn't drive off if it's still dangling. But um, yeah, it's, it needs to be looked at before we take it all the way up to Evesham. It's not fair for me to drop the trailer and then another driver get it and then realise there's something wrong with it. Plus, I don't think it can be shortened until, uh, until it's been fixed. But yeah, anyway. Uh, let's go get this box off and I'll see you when we're leaving the docks. This video is sponsored by Trailer Training UK, operating across the south delivering HGV class 1 and 2 courses as well as weekly CPC courses. They also do car and trailer courses and many more. I have heard nothing but good things about these guys, check out their online presence, they got a 91.7% first time pass rate and if you quote Luke so you get a 5% discount on top of the 5% price fee they already have. Therefore, you're 100% guaranteed the best price. Find out more by clicking the link in the description below. Right, so we're back out the docks. We're uh, on our way now to Marchwood Industrial Estate to get this trailer dropped and to uh, get another one. We're, um, well, we're, we were only in the docks for about 10 minutes, so it was actually really good. Not long at all. So it's, uh, it's only 10 past 10 now. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy it didn't take long. Just got to hope now it don't take too long to get this trailer dropped off and get another one on. It's going to take at least 15 minutes, maybe half an hour. If I look at the map and I think I know where i got to go, but uh, it's not the same place where I got the trailer from. The trailer is just around the corner. It's like a different yard. So um, I do need to concentrate a little bit while I um, try and figure out whether or not I'm in the right place. But we're uh, nearly there now, only a mile away. I think there's some pretty nasty bumps in this industrial estate as well. You've got to go slow. Right, let's go left. After you. Next left, and then we're in the industrial estate. I've been here a few times before, as I said, I've I come here just before Christmas to drop the trailer off for the Christmas break. Uh, that was the last time I did container work. And uh, there's also a place down here called Elliot's. And when I was doing the Glastonbury work, out of Glastonbury taking the containers, um, like toilets and things like that, it was uh, all Elliot's. So we were delivering it from uh, Glastonbury to either Avonmouth in Bristol or Avonmouth in Bristol. Elliot's in Avonmouth in Bristol or in here in Southampton. That's when we were doing a bit of work for Elliot's. But we're not doing that anymore. I don't know why, but we're not. It might help if I actually have a quick look at this. Shepherd commercials. That's what I want. Shepherd commercials. Where are these bumps then? So the yard for the trailer, to get a new trailer, I believe is in there. No, not there. Yes, there. I think there. <laughs> well, I'm only gonna be a, a cab anyway. I'm not gonna have a trailer on me, so it should be relatively easy to get into. ATS. So maybe it's on the other side. Well, I see a building that says Shepherd, so it's going to be there somewhere. How do we get in? I could do a complete circle around this yard, so we can go around and have a look. Is it in there? I don't think, I don't think it's in that one. Okay. Oh, yeah, th these are the bumps. 
And Elliot's is just further on down here. Huh? Uh, we'll go on in. All eyes is going to be on me, that's for sure. Right, I'm going to go and speak to someone and hopefully find out where I'm going to drop this trailer. So I'll see you in a bit. Right, trailer dropped off, new trailer on. The new trailer that I have on also has a box on, so I've got to go take another box off. So I wasn't anticipating that. So that's a bit annoying because now I've got to wait again for a box to be taken off. I mean, if it's as quick as it was last time, it'd be all right, but, but no, my luck, it'd be waiting an hour now to get this box off. <laughs> but yeah, so we're heading back to the docks and uh, then we can get a, uh, a job to go out to Evesham, hopefully, although that still hasn't actually yet been confirmed. So, but I'm hoping that's where I'm going. So yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, here is the situation. So we finally got loaded uh, with a container and we are going up to Evesham. So Evesham is uh, 120 odd miles away. It takes about two and a half hours to get there, maybe two hours and 40 minutes. So it's a relatively long drive, especially when you've only got 57 minutes left of driving time. So I will need to stop and have a break at some point. I'm hoping I can get to Tottenham Services on the A34 because I don't want to have a break too early and then not have enough driving time to get up there and then back down to, the, to our yard again. Should be fine. Should be able to, in theory, get up there and down from here. But it's just being safe, isn't it? Just giving you extra time. So, yeah, ideally I want to go to Tottenham Services. Like I imagined, it took absolutely ages to get that box off and then this box back on. All because I had to do a bloody trailer swap. The way I see it, right, is now it's 20 to 1 in the afternoon, 20 to 1. I was here at, what, 10 o'clock? I think it was 10 o'clock. I'm pretty sure it was 10 o'clock I was here, ready to get a tray, to, to, to take the box off and get a new one to go on up. So that's 11, 12, nearly three hours I've wasted. <coughs> Just because of a bloody trailer needed changing. And it gave me extra work in the long run, which boss probably won't get paid for. Uh, so anyway, we're on, we're on the move, heading back up north from the south. It's quite annoying because I've got to go straight past Quicklade, where we're based, to, to go up to Evesham. It's probably another hour or so away from Quicklade. So, um, yeah, <laughs> on a Friday afternoon, you think, oh, let's go home, because we're going to be passing there about three o'clock, I expect. And uh, we're actually going to be going up further up north. North, I say north, it's Evesham, it's just above Chow north from here so yeah i'm hoping i can get there for four o'clock after i've had my break and everything uh quickly tip the trailer get the new one on sort of say 15 minutes hopefully get that done and uh hurry up and get back down for the uh get back down the yard hopefully between half five and six o'clock that is my estimate of when i'll be back in the yard half five six o'clock and this morning i started at Five o'clock, yeah. So we'll be looking at a 12 hour, 13 hour shift, which is fine. We've done that every single day for the last two weeks on this job. What I will say is container work is easy, but they they are tend to be longer hours, but then you're just waiting around most of the day. So like I said, it's, it's easy work. You just got to sit there and find something to do, find something to watch, but it's not too bad. Anyway, let's crack on, let's go find somewhere to have a break. Right, we are just pulling up now to the services. Where we're gonna have our break. <sighs> Hopefully, uh, yeah, there should be plenty of spaces to park. What's going on here then? Give way to your right, no one's actually giving way to the right side. No, the cars in here. Mm. 
loads of cars in here. Oh, he's having a wee. What we're going to do is just park here. Nice and easy. Keep going until the wheels tell me to stop. That'll be there. Should be enough room. Right. Time to have a break and chill out now. Yes, I know I need a break. Stop warning me. Yeah, so I'll see you uh, when we get back on the road. Okay, that's it, that's break done. We are now back on the road, heading back up now towards Evesham. We are 82 miles away, which is about two hours according to the sat-nav. Um, so we can do another four and a half hours driving now before we need a break. So um, I can get all the way up there and back again in four hours and I haven't got to come all the way back here. So we should have plenty of driving time to get back to the yard. So that's absolutely fine. Don't have to worry about working time either because uh, again, just had a break, so we've got six hours from now. So as long as we don't do six hours of working or four and a half hours worth of driving, we are going to be fine. And uh, I started at five o'clock this morning, so I can in theory work till eight o'clock. So I don't think that's going to happen. I think, like I said, we're going to be there just before four o'clock. Hopefully, we can get back to the yard for half five. That's the plan. That is the plan, and then depends on how busy the wash is. Might even wash the truck tonight, so I haven't got to do it over the weekend uh, or Monday morning. We, we will see. Actually, if I get a text um, later on today before I finish saying I start late on Monday morning, then I'll just do it Monday morning, but that's, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right, we're on the A34, let's head back. We've got to go on the M4 uh, towards Swindon, then the A419 slash A417, down Bird Lip Hill, onto the M5, and then we've got to come off, can't remember what the A road is we've got to come off and go towards Evesham. So let's get going, foot down, let's crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so we're finally here. Took a while, bit of traffic as well going down Birdlip Hill, but we got here in the end. That's the main thing. And that's it. Here around this roundabout. These uh, trailers make a lot of noise, I've noticed. Right, and that's where we're going. That is going to be the, the end for this video because I am now going to record myself dropping this trailer off and picking up the new one in a point of view uh, style when that video is going to come out over the weekend as well. So um, that's going to be it for now, today. But I will see you in a second tomorrow in the next video and uh, we will reconvene right from here. So I'll see you in a bit. Oh, and drive safe. Bye-bye.